I want to say thank you to the Latam Startup Conference to consider Mexico again. Thank you so much. The last year I talked about Mexico. Now I want to talk about Mexico, but as a team player, because this is a teamwork and is the Pacific Alliance. And let me introduce to the Pacific Alliance. Uh, it sounds easily, but it's not. Uh, and I know that some of you uh, know this uh, alliance, but let me give you some information, or important information. Yes. Okay. The Pacific Alliance uh, is integrated for four countries, Chile, Mexico, Peru, and Colombia. And these countries, uh, in April of uh, 2011, agreed to collaborate and to develop some strategies and some initiatives to work to strengthen the economies and the different ecosystems of the, uh, the commercial and um, economical development uh, teams. So uh, the Pacific Alliance was founded with three main objectives. The first is to build in a collaborative way an area of profound and deeply integrations to promote the free flow between goods, services, capital, and people or talent. The second one is to facilitate growth, development, and competitiveness with two main objectives. The first one is to reduce the inequality that are in the economies and also to include people that doesn't belong to the economy in the countries that works uh, normally. And the third one is to become a political platform that represents the interests of the region. But how much represents the Pacific Alliance? This is some of the numbers. My, my partner, Rodrigo, uh, gave to some information, but this is our uh, most, uh, more information about it. Uh, we have 220 million of people in this region. Uh, brings 43 million tourists per year in the four countries, and also represents for, uh, 34 of the GDP uh, of the Latin America region, 52 of the total trade, and 41 of the foreign direct investment. And also, you can uh, see in the trade what is the amount that represents exports and imports of this region. Uh, if, if we consider the four countries as a one country, it represents the seven economy in the world. And uh, as a mechanisms that, uh, collaborate, that, uh, of collaboration, it has a, a structure, a very strong structure. In the first level, we have the presidents. In the second level, we have the ministers, the minister of foreign relationships and economy or production or the similar church in the country. We have a high level group that is integrated of advisors in the private sector. We have also a, a, a 52 countries uh, that as observers, and also we have national coordinators, one of each country, and finally we have the working groups. And each working group works in different themes in order to estrange the economy or the ecosystem of each country. These are the working groups. We have more than 18 working groups in the Pacific Alliance. Uh, the National Institute of Entrepreneurship participates in the innovation group and SME groups. And this is a, a technical group of innovation. The technical group of innovation was founded in 2014. Uh, it was created uh, for a presidential mandatory and we work in five pillars. The first one is human capital, the second is legal framework, the third is uh, entrepreneurship culture, technology transfer, and financing and capital. Uh, each one of them is in charge of one country. For example, Mexico has in charge uh, financing and capital and culture entrepreneurship. And what is the responsibility of each country? each country leading the works and initiatives that works in these teams and focus some initiatives, some resources in order to uh, achieve some uh, goals that uh, each pillars have. Uh, 
this group uh, works with the purpose of designing and coordinating initiatives and activities that foster and strengthen productivity and competitiveness, but also with the focus of innovation. But also, we work in three platforms, in three very important platforms. The first one is Innova Network Pacific Alliance. The second one is Angel Network Pacific Alliance. And the third one is Accelerator Network Pacific Alliance. The only network that is public or that is integrated by public organisms are, as is the first one. But let me talk about the others and uh, I, I will close with the third one. Acelerape. Acelerape, uh, the goal is to facilitate the soft landing of startups and SME in any country of the Pacific Alliance through the programs of accelerators and incubators. Um, the network looks for solving some of the challenges that has an entrepreneur to launch in a different country. For example, the culture, the, the regulatory themes, the network, the mentoring, the financing. So in order to facilitate the establishment of a new business or the run up of a business in these four countries is designed this program. This program is a pilot. This program, uh, it, uh, it follows three stages. The first one is uh, the entrepreneurs and SMEs prepare in the country, in, in the original country, working with accelerator in their country. The second one is training and a distance accompaniment by, by another accelerator in the country that the entrepreneur want to launch. And the third stage is travel to the country and establish the company in this country. We had a pilot uh, some months ago. Uh, we launched a call. Uh, we have the answer of 43 startups. We selected 10 startups to prepare to launch in, an, in other countries, and so we selected three startups in the program of soft, land, of soft landing. Uh, two of them went to Mexico to establish a new market and to a new company, and one of them go to Peru, from Colombia to Peru, to establish a new startup in this country. And this is, these are the accelerators and incubators that works with the program. It's not limited for them, but you need a recognition and a certification to work with this, uh, with this network. The second network is Angeles AP, that works on any uh, network of angel investment, uh, angel investor, sorry. And the main objective is to promote the investment in the different countries, but also has an important element for education and to create a new class of investors in the Latin American region. And also to show to other uh, investors from other parts of the world the portfolio of the, this, uh, the, these four countries. Uh, this network is a complement of all of the, all the work that uh, made uh, the Acelera the network. And also, we will have an event in the next September in the National Entrepreneurship Week in Mexico that it, it, was the, it, it will be the first uh, event of angel investors for Pacific Alliance. And also, I would I will like to invite you to this event. Uh, this event is the most uh, important event in Latin America of entrepreneurship. So all of you are invited. And it's for free. <laughs> and the last one is a public network. Uh, this network uh, was created in October of the last year uh, in, a, in an agreement, and there uh, there, there is a special objective for this because it's integrated for the four innovation agencies of each country that are Corfo, INADEM, Impulsa, and Ministerio de la Producción in Peru. What is the main objectives of this uh, network? The first one is sharing experiences. We know that all the countries make efforts to support and to push entrepreneurs. 
we have successful stories as a startup Chile. Or for example, in Mexico, we have a strong uh, venture capital strategy. So in order to learn of each other is the creation of this uh, network, but not also for this. We have only designing and implementing programs that can uh, push entrepreneurs between the countries. Our vision is that if you are an entrepreneur, if you are an entrepreneur that want to launch in any of these four countries, you can do it easily. So this is the, the, the main objective of this uh, network, and we work on it because it, it's a very young network, but, but we, have some we have planned some initiatives to do it. And also, we are working in other kind of mechanisms. For example, in order to promote the, the entrepreneurship culture, we are working on a platform that uh, get together all the content that the different countries have in their uh, own platforms. So we are uh, working in this platform that uh, we have developed in the next months in order to be available for all the entrepreneurs, all the uh, educational uh, centers for the universities, for investors, and for all the communities of entrepreneurs. And uh, I think very important, as any platform, we need resources. We need resources to push and to promote and to impulse some of the initiatives. So we are looking for two mechanisms to uh, fund the, for, uh, in, on the other uh, one hand, sorry, one hand is to fund some of the projects that uh, are uh, developed by the Acelera AP. On the other hand, we need resources to strengthen initiatives that emerging of the technical group of innovation. So we need resources. We are looking for money uh, uh, of, to, in order to uh, strengthen these kind of initiatives. And this is the most important goal of the group uh, of innovation and SME group too. We launched uh, in the last year the first venture capital fund for this region. Uh, this is the Pacific Alliance Fund. Uh, this is the first regional uh, venture capital fund in Latin America. Uh, in Adem uh, invest uh, $10 million in, in it. And also other investors are Van Coldex from Colombia and Fomin of IDB. IDB. And we are looking for uh, startups that compete in these kind of sectors, uh, ITC, life, life science, biotech, technology, and in advanced manufacturing, health, agribusiness, uh, the size of this fund is uh, $100 million, but we have the first closing in $40 million. And we are looking to invest in 40 companies. Uh, in, uh, two, year, two days ago, the, this fund announced the two first investments, one of them in Mexico, one, uh, the other in Chile. And also we have new mandates. These mandates are in the level of the presidents of each country, but the, the working um, uh, of these mandates are in the groups, in the working groups. So we have four mandates uh, to, to continue with the work. Uh, the first one is to design a comparative index between innovation and the conditions of the entrepreneurship. We don't have indicators, clear indicators, to uh, improve the public policy, so this is the objective for this uh, index. The second one is to develop a program in technology transfer. Uh, this program are uh, developing uh, with the national consuls of science and technology of each country. The third one is to implement the network of innovation agencies to, to come alive of this network uh, in OVAPE. And the last one is a mapping of the startup initiatives, um, for example, to promote success stories, but also to be available the information of the public programs in the four countries for any kind of entrepreneur and any kind of um, business. 
So this is only a sample of LATAM. Now imagine all the possibilities of collaboration with the rest of the countries. This is a lot of work, but we are very proud to work with the four countries and not also uh, with the four countries. We are open to all of that. And thank you so much.